Hey guys, it's Maxis here, and today we are taking a look at the Quake Mac Poly Bag. Now, this is a mock, this is not the official Poly Bag, although this is basically what it's going to be like. I just took a look at the pictures and kind of broke it down and built a mock out of it. So, let's take a look at it. This is a fairly simple thing. There's a little bit of articulation you can get, obviously, and the arms, you can move them up and down, and you can move the fingers a little bit which is pretty simple. The main thing that a lot of people have been wondering from what I've seen based on this is how is it going to bounce? Well, it's fairly simple. Basically, the tire is brick built, so the bottom is actually flat and the tire cannot actually spin. So when you try to move this thing around, it's, it's not going to spin because that's how it is built. You can see that in the pictures. It's fairly, uh, it's fairly obvious. You can see how it is built for the most part, so it's a fairly simple thing. They also have these small little droid arms coming off to represent a little bit of connection to the wheel. The cockpit section is fairly simple, they just have a 1x2 clear piece in the middle and then they have a little bit of samurai helmet detailing on the top. We don't have any clear pictures of the back so I just have it fairly bare here. All I did was connect one of these 1x2 black pieces to the back, they just add a little bit of uh, filling in there. Overall I'm pretty happy with this as both a mock and a poly bag. Now, although I don't really want to like give my full opinions on this since it's not actually an official thing, once again, this is a mock, although it is pretty close to what it's supposed to be. If I had to give an opinion on this, I'd say that this is pretty solid. I think it does a great job representing what it's supposed to be. And the only thing I don't really like about it is that it is a little bit small. You can see compared to a minifigure, it's pretty short, even though you know the minifigure does have a little bit of a taller height than the average one. It's, it's not that tall, it's only a little bit taller, which is kind of unfortunate. I just wish it was a little bit taller, but yeah, other than that, I'm happy with it. Good articulation, good accuracy to what it's supposed to be, and just an overall cool looking thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.